Felina Hansen here at Hera Hub, and I am with our member, our favorite member, Vivian Sayward, Vivacity Sportswear. And Vivian, I'm, a I'm, I'm asking you to join me for this conversation specifically because I know you've been involved, not, I, want, I don't want to say in politics, so right. to speak, but you know, you've attended some events sure. and things sure. of that nature. So two things I had that were interesting to me this week, and one started with, I was invited to be on a panel, uh, a women's uh, economic forum yes. panel for Congressman Scott Peters, yes. who covers this particular district in right. Serena Mesa. Yes. Um, very honored. Mm -hmm. um, so I was on a panel and was asked to kind of talk about how Hera Hub is impacting, you know, the local economy and helping women and businesses sure. launch and grow and whatnot. Um, and the I was the only entrepreneur on the panel. Okay. And we started talking about uh, there was another um, Congressman Sanchez. She's based out of LA. Okay. Yes. Uh, was on the panel as well. And yes. and one of the the conversation points, rightfully so, is why are more women not getting into politics? Sure. And it's, you know, the numbers are still really bad. It's Absolutely. like 18% in Congress or something like mm -hmm. that. I mean, that's they're just bad, right. Right? right? But I'm thinking in my mind as I'm sitting there listening to Congressman Sanchez, like I have no interest. I mean, I'm just being candid here. I have absolutely <laughs> no interest in being in politics, it yes. sounds like a nightmare to me. Yes, I hate bureaucracy. I hate inefficiency. I know. I hate just everything related to that. I would go. I can't even sit on a like a nonprofit board now. I know. So beyond the bureaucracy. I agree. <laughs> it's just it's crazy. Unless right. I'm going to create my own board, I just don't want a part of it. Right. It's terrible. So that's one thing that's going through my mind. Uh, any thoughts as an entrepreneur? Have you kind of processed this for yourself of like, could I go into politics someday? Well, I know I couldn't because I can't bow to other pressures. That's probably one of the reasons why I left corporate. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was doing well in my career and my corporate jobs in the past. I was in biotech. Yeah. Um, I was really, you know, just very fortunate with the people I've worked with, the mentors I've worked with. But one of the first things, getting back to all that, I never had a female mentor mm. in corporate in corporate America. We've talked about this yeah, before. Yeah. Um, the one one of my mentors, um, the only one out of all the mentors, any of the women I've worked with in the past and so forth, this one particular mentor, he's a male. We're still very good friends. Mm -hmm. When I first started working for him, he said, "Listen, I can tell help you with." this and this and this, mentoring you in these different areas. Mm -hmm. But I do not know what it's like to be a woman mm -hmm. in a corporate world. So mm -hmm. let me introduce you to women that I respect mm -hmm. in the industry. Yeah. And that's what he did. Yeah. Um, but that was rare. Yeah. And that was eh, 15, 20 years ago, maybe yeah. 15 years yeah. ago. Yeah. Um, so I think there's part of that. Mm -hmm. um, I find it fascinating too because now I'm Latin American. And in Latin America, there are a few female leaders, um, President of Brazil right now, the President of Chile, yeah. uh, there's been, Argentina's had female, pre, a female president in the past, mm -hmm. or in currently, right yeah. now, yeah. Um, so how did they, in a male-dominated yeah. culture, yeah. and I'm generalizing <laughs> We're behind, here, We're behind other countries, <laughs> so too, how yeah. can that be, from yeah. this standpoint, are yeah. we still so entrenched from a bit boys network in that? Or do we women want to go beyond that? And I hate to say that. I don't want... That's kind I don't of where want, I'm leaning. Yeah. It's like, I don't even want to deal with that. Like, I don't want to play into that system, so right. to speak. And right. that's terrible. Maybe it is that we are such... We're so entrepreneurial as a country that the... I don't know. And I'm... Obviously, I live in this entrepreneurial bubble 24-7. Right. So right. I don't even right. know what's going on in the outside world. But I just cannot fathom it. I mean, and... I understand that House of Cards is not a real show. <laughs> I totally get that. It is one of the number one shows in China. Is it? Yes, it is. Interesting. It is. Just an interest other I totally topic. get that that's a TV show, but right. something tells me that at least 10% of what they are talking about and what transpires in that show that is like based on something real, right. okay? Right, right. And I would, I mean, just the tip, and to me, that's probably just the tip of the iceberg of what really goes on behind the curtain, so to speak. Sure. I can't even fathom. I cannot even, like, there is 
no way on God's green earth that I would ever subject myself to that. But that's the problem. The problem is, it's people like you and me, Vivian, who should be on the forefront <laughs> of political change. Darn it. Darn it. And we're not yeah. because, like, it just like the so system. Maybe, maybe we're doing our own revolution, and that's the thing that maybe I feel so. <laughs> that I feel we're yeah. doing. Yeah, what is the we're making change. We're in making other changing ways. in other ways, be it at the home, be it on the forefront, and entrepreneurs. Yeah. What yes. is the percentage of women entrepreneurs right now in this yeah. country? Yeah, it's I going mean, up dramatically. Exactly. Yes. So to yes, me, we're that's making the our own change. Yeah. I agree, yeah. a thousand percent. And that's what was going through my mind right. as well. Is like, okay, I I can impact things in a whole nother way. Right. But still, it's frustrating because I know that we do need more women in politics. We do. So last thing, the other thing that came up this week, there is a woman, I won't say names. Okay. Uh, there's a woman here in San Diego that I've interacted with a, f a fair amount at events sure. who's running for city council. Yes. And she's awesome. Right. Awesome girl. Smart, young, ambitious, like going to be a rock star city council person. I have no doubt that she'll go on to exactly. you know, Congress, Senate, right. president, beyond. Is mm -hmm. She's great. Mm -hmm. I really, really like her. So I attended an event. I don't go to many of these events, right. so to speak, because again, I'm just like, I'm so far removed from that. I don't even want to like, I don't have time to deal with it basically right. and play the game, so to speak. But I went to one event and I contributed $100. Mm -hmm. Because that's what you do when you go to an event, right? Really? Sure. So I get the thing. So uh, it's not even my district, mind you. Yes. So I, I, I cannot, I cannot you vote cannot for this vote person. For person. Yeah, right. it's not my district right. where I live. So I, I get lots of emails, and we're in the final stretches, and we need to raise X, you know, eighteen thousand sure. dollars by Thursday, and like part of me is reading this, going like, really, like. You're spending an equal amount. You're trying to you're trying to outspend your uh, rival in mail campaigns right now. Yeah. And this is what I'm going to give money to, so you can send out more direct mail. Like, yes. I don't get that. It's part of that system that she's playing. She yeah, has. She either has she to has play. to play into. Totally. And I know exactly. I, I, I've had a similar experience yeah. with the same candidate, okay, okay. who I think is fantastic yeah. and I yeah. would support her in yeah. any which way, yeah. but how... But how I don't feel like, and it's, so here's here's the pinnacle of the problem, she called me oh, yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Like straight up, like, hey, how's it going? What's going on? Like, and I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> yes. And like, and God bless her, I mean, balls, like I could not do this, was like, will you donate more money? Sure. And I was like, I need to think about that because, I mean, in that moment, I'm like, because I just gotten that email the prior day of like, we need to get more mail, direct mail out. And like, to me, spending money on direct mail doesn't make any sense. And am I willing to give another hundred dollars? I know that's like nothing, right? People give like thousands and thousands of dollars in political contributions right. for whatever reason. but. To me, like that was resonating in my head. I'm like, I don't want to give another hundred dollars so you can do another direct mail campaign to blast your opponent. Like, yes. I feel like I could spend a hundred dollars and make a lot better impact. And again, I don't know if this is. I'm thinking of the last gu uh, gubernatorial race yeah. uh, from just a couple years ago yeah. with Jerry Brown yeah. versus everyone else yeah. going in. And he came in at the last, and I'm not, again, this is not supporting him yeah, or anything yeah, like that. Yeah. This is, I'm, I'm just looking back. Yeah. Um, not a lot of money yeah. in the relative scheme of things. Yeah. Pushed it on me, social media, pushed it on uh, this guy, you know, he's yeah. been in politics his whole career, his whole life. He's, what, past 70. Yeah. Um, and he won. Yeah. yeah. So, with everything going on in the Supreme Court right now, mm -hmm. which is another story, yeah. <laughs> and this whole money machine that's being mm -hmm. done versus what, where this money can go to for so many different things, um, we're still feeding into this whole system. I know. For direct mail items, for example, that I always uh, toss into the <gasps> totally. recycling bin. Um, so, how do we change this? What do yeah. we do? And yeah, well, there's you the know. whole campaign reform thing, right. and, and should we make every candidate 
you know, pull public funds only and not, you know, be allowed to the, I mean, then you've got this PACs and I mean, there's just like layers and layers it's of this. It's a layer to the whole system that's been, yeah. So once again, if we women ran this. Yes, <laughs> I know. Yeah. I don't know if I, I can answer I, the question, I know, but, I, I, but I, I, I feel your pain. No, <laughs> but you're totally right, Vivian. Yeah. It's I, to me like my only solution is like the quiet revolution, so to speak, of creating this platform for women to launch and grow their business. Yes. And you know, let me affect change, so to speak, over here. Right. Because eventually politics is going to have to listen to that, so yes. to speak. And yes. that's my only solution there. I just don't even feel like I can play over here. I just... And I think every woman in business can also do this as well. Yeah. Any uh, organization that you support via your business, outside of your business, yeah. I mean, that is making it that much yeah. more... Yeah, you're voting with your pocketbook every Absolutely. single day. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's the way I'm handling it, yeah. trying to. Yeah, I guess that's the only way. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>